Alright, this is a reading for Leo. Um, you got the tiny tarot, so if this comes in a little dark, I am sorry. Um, but yeah, I had to zoom my camera in all the way, and sometimes it just goes a little dark. Um, so, I'm going to read your list, the entire list, this time, because I am challenging myself, and I'm doing good things. Um, Blink-182, What's My Age Again, Joe Jackson, Stepping Out, um, Lady Gaga, Born This Way, Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody, um, Coldplay, The Sky Full of Stars, um, Taylor Swift, I Knew You Were Trouble, um, The Gorillas, Feel Good Incorporated, Beyonce, If I Were a Boy, um, Kanye West, Stronger, um, Avent Sorrow, um, Pe Pesavance, um, Petulance Shall Come, uh, Petulance Mind Reflections, and as you know, this week you feel like the Knight of Swords, um, Confident, self-assured, goes for the things they want, um, quick moving, shakes things up. A very Capricorn, Aquarius energy, so maybe you have some Cancer, Aquarius energy, or this could be in your Cancer or Aquarius houses, um, that is kind of stirring things up. And... The week's theme is going to be the Eight of Cups. These are so cute, but they're so tiny, and my fingers are so big. Um, so we have these things going on. I'm sorry, my big fingers are in the way. Alright, so Eight of Cups. A light-haired female who can help. Friends who offer assistance. Um... Walking away from what doesn't serve you is a very Saturn energy, so wherever your Saturn is in your chart or whatever house it's in or whatever degree away from the sun it is, is how it's going to influence your energy. So if you're into natal charts or you want to see your birth charts um, and find out what's going on, you might want to read that um, depending on where it is um, for today. You know, if your Saturn is away from your sun, you're fine. If it's really close, then you're screwed. Because, like, you need somebody to help you out. And then we have the challenge of the week, which is the Two of Pentacles. It's probably going to be a financial reading. Um, Two of Pentacles, um... Financially, things couldn't get worse. Take a realistic look at your resources. Um, you'll try to manage your life better. Um, so it's a Jupiter thing. You're kind of looking from within, and you kind of have this image of, like, you being your perfect self. Or you may have an image of your perfect husband if you're a woman, or boyfriend, or whatever the case. Spouse, whatever. Not judging, just saying. Um, <laughs> people think I'm judging them. I'm not. Um, uh, I judge myself too harshly, so that's how that works. Yay. Alright, things to remember. The things to remember. These are so tiny. Alright, so this is Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, happy partnerships. Wishes being fulfilled, having everything you want, success in all areas of phys physical pleasure. So this is now also a Jupiter energy. So you might have your Jupiter <laughs> aligning with two different planets or whatever the case. But this is um, you being satisfied with your partnerships right now. You're kind of slowing things down in order to, you know, enjoy the moment. So... Whatever the case. Uh, so just be grateful for what you have in the moment. And then the lesson that you will learn this week. Fun stuff. 
Alright, we got the Page of Wands in Reverse. Page of Wands in Reverse is lack of seriousness, an, Ill, an inability to commit a person who cannot um, process or progress a messenger with bad intentions. So, you're... <laughs> You're flying high and then you're crashing badly. So you're probably expecting the best without really looking at the possibility of something going wrong. Um, you know, it's it's kind of that way sometimes though. You want the best, so you kind of psych yourself up for the best, and then it comes crashing down. Um, and then we have the gift of the week, which is. The Three of Pentacles, which is in Mars. So your Mars is kind of like the bad boy of the scenario. So let's see what it has to say. Um, education, meeting celebrities, rubbing elbows with important people, developing a skill and potential. So like, if you take away anything from this reading, you're probably trying to develop a skill or potential so you're not codependent on other people in some cases not all cases don't attack me in the comments i'm just saying some people like they 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 kind of just hop to the next thing or they hop to the next job or you know they kind of want to be their own boss but they don't know how and they kind of are forever like a nomad in like the business world and let's put it to you that way but yeah um if anything you'll develop a skill um and if you're a fire sign like a skill probably would be an electrician or a carpenter or something um so if you want my advice be a <laughs> engineer electrician carpenter work with cars do do something that you know you're good at that you can use your hands uh technology i'm not sure how good a fire sign is i'm a pisces aries i was pretty good with computers and i knew how to do a lot of stuff and design things but like it, it wasn't for me like i did it but i was like this is bullshit but anyway if you like this reading Leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, I read everything, so leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching, Leo. And yeah, you're you're gonna learn a skill, but make sure it's like useful that it's something that people would need or people would like to see. Or that you're good at. You know. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, Leo. And you got the tiny cards today. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But, um, yeah, I will see you in the next reading. And I hope this week goes well. Um, it's a lot of growth. Um, a lot of growth. Um, anyway. Bye, Leo.